Hey, Mr. WAPK here with a review of Divinity Dragon Commander. This game is an action RPG strategy game. You'll be fighting large amounts of enemies in real time battles and even making hard decisions in the throne room as well as the battlefield. The game doesn't have fog of war, there is a huge tech tree and it's hard to figure out at first. The graphics in this game really aren't that good, they aren't horrible, but they aren't amazing. You will fight a turn-based war. You make decisions on the map, like where to go and what to build. Your home is a flying ship called the Raven. In the Raven, you will find your generals and your crew sometimes arguing, and you will have to step in and sort things out. You also find your cabinet made up of six beings, one from each of the six races in the game. They never agree on anything, but the happier you make them, the more you sport you will get from their nations. You can't side with everyone though. Sometimes you have to help one race, but not the other. When you are out on the battlefield, you can control your army and even go into dragon mode. Did I mention that you are a dragon? In dragon mode, you can throw fireballs, use your special abilities, dodge rockets, and even use a jetpack to get to places extremely fast. The controls in the game aren't the best, mostly in dragon mode, but I'll get to that in a second. On your ship, you can go to the bar, the throne room, and a few other places by clicking on their respected icons. I found that this can be kind of annoying, especially when the game doesn't tell you that there are icons to click to go to the places. It could just be me, but I think it would have been a lot better if it was possible to go into first person mode while on the raven and walk around. But back to the battlefield. While in dragon mode, it's pretty impossible to control your army, and that makes it a pain. So to recap, you will have to make hard political decisions. The graphics are alright, but they're definitely not amazing. Battles are huge and pretty fun. The strategy in the game is very enjoyable, and it's definitely one of the better things in the game. The controls aren't that great. You can play single player, campaign, skirmishes, or even multiplayer. For gameplay, I give this game a 4 out of 5. I give the graphics a 4 out of 5. I give the game audio a 4 out of 5. I give the lasting appeal and replayability a 3 out of 5. Overall, I give this game a 4 out of 5. This is not an average of the other scores, but it's what I give the game for an overall. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to keep updated on all the latest games, my reviews, mods, modded gameplays, walkthroughs, playthroughs, and let's plays. Do you have a suggestion, question, comment, concern? Leave me a comment below, I respond to every comment. Like if you enjoyed, favorite if you really enjoyed. And share this video on your networks like Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Reddit, or anywhere else to support me. All support helps. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. See you next time.